What's going on, YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. We recently touched on the disappointing sales numbers for Modern Warfare 3. And in response to this, it seems as if Activision went into attack mode, maybe a little bit of a scramble mode, throwing Modern Warfare 3 on sale and releasing a free-to-play weekend simultaneously. In hopes of boosting some of those sales numbers right before Christmas, right before year-end, so that they can be happier with the performance of the game. I don't really blame them from a business standpoint. It makes complete sense, right? Create some demand for the game, allow the game to be sold at a lower price point, and hope that that boosts the numbers to a more reasonable level. And honestly, I, I do believe that Modern Warfare 3 at its core is a better game than Modern Warfare 2, but so many people were burned by that game. So many people felt as if it was a massive bait and switch. Which really isn't what Modern Warfare 3 is. But unfortunately, this free-to-play weekend that should be more about welcoming people into the community, it was overshadowed by one of the many issues that is currently plaguing Modern Warfare 3. And I'm not talking about servers. I'm not talking about skill-based matchmaking, surprisingly. I'm talking about cheaters. Because what I saw over this weekend and what I saw on social media as well was that the cheaters came out to play. They went out of their way to make the experience for so many so miserable. And yes, I, I don't think that the cheaters are as many as people claim there are, but there is a cheater problem in Modern Warfare 3. And the free-to-play weekend showcased that in spades. It doesn't take long to surf the subreddit, to surf Twitter, to surf YouTube, to find clips and examples of people experiencing the major cheating problem that persists in modern warfare 3 so why is this why is there such a problem why is it so prevalent well it's because the ricochet anti-cheat system sucks it does nothing to mitigate the problem it would rather ban you for using a bad word than ban people who are cheating and ruining other people's experience they think that using a bad word is worse than people that are augmenting the game to their favor they are cheating and it's almost as if ricochet wants to protect those people i don't know why it is oh that's why because they spend money on the game because normally somebody who hacks the game is also spending money on the battle pass or spending money on cosmetics and giving activision money so does activision really want to cut that artery off no they'd rather push me out of the algorithm they'd rather have me have less of an enjoyable time because i'm not going to sit here and support a terrible game. I'm not going to sit here and support a bad franchise, a bad company, a greedy company, a company that has traded in good game design in favor of reindeer and other animals prouncing about in a war simulation game. At least that's what they pretend it is, right? They, they like to pretend that Call of Duty is this realistic experience, but are so happy and horny to throw in the next animal into the game. It, it blows my mind and is so counterintuitive it's unbelievable. But the point of this video is to more talk about the cheater problem that persists here. I've covered it before. I actually made light of it before, but it's only gotten increasingly worse over time. And this is a direct result of Activision being too lenient on cheaters and having a bad anti-cheat system, an anti-cheat system that does not help the player out, an anti-cheat system that goes out of its way to allow a safe space for these cheaters, it seems. And the crazy part is, is the cheats right now for Modern Warfare 3, for wall hacks or whatever it is, I, I don't even know, aimbots, I'm sure, are cheaper than a regular cosmetic in the shop. They're like averaging about 15 bucks and I think it's $20 to buy a cosmetic. I don't even know. I would never waste my money on this. Regardless of that, what you're getting is you're getting people to invest in that because... They want that advantage. They want that advantage. They need that advantage. And Call of Duty needs to crack down on it. Simple as that. As bad as the server problem is, as bad as skill-based matchmaking is, having a rampant cheater problem is bad for your game throughout. People can excuse servers. They can excuse the SBMM. They might even be able to excuse the awful spawn system. But having every single game and their entire experience being hijacked by cheaters is not fair to anyone and you almost protecting these cheaters by not improving your ricochet anti-cheat system 
is pretty embarrassing. Like, if I worked for Ricochet, I'd be embarrassed about the lack of quality my product produces time and time again. But this is Activision we're talking about, and nobody over at Activision seems to have any self-awareness to look at the projects they're working on and look at the quality of the work they do and have any type of insight on how to improve it. We see it here with the quality control that's happened in Modern Warfare 3, or lack thereof. The same type of quality control we saw in Modern Warfare 2. The same type of quality control we saw during Call of Duty Vanguard. They don't care. All they care about is if you want to spend money on the next tree skin that is invisible to so many players. And I'm really sick and tired of it. It's embarrassing. And the fact that other games with smaller player bases can get the anti-cheat system right, it's not perfect. There's going to be loopholes. But guess what? They work hard to close them because they care about the experience above all else. But that's not Call of Duty anymore. Call of Duty couldn't care less if they deliver a good experience or bad experience. They just want your money. That's what they care about. Right? And that's why they use this free-to-play weekend. They utilized it to coincide with this sale to get people to spend money. They made the matches maybe a little bit easier. Because remember, they have the ability to augment your experience to how they want you to enjoy the game. If they want you to have fun, they'll ensure you have fun. They'll make it feel as if it's the best Call of Duty game you've had in a while. They'll allow you to have fun. But the second you buy the game, the second you invest into the game, ah, no, we're going to make sure you don't enjoy it until you buy a skin. Once you buy a skin, we'll make it fun again for a little bit until you buy the next skin. Obviously, that's a little bit more of a conspiracy theory, but I wouldn't put it past them, right? Like, I wouldn't put it past Call of Duty to look at this as an opportunity to say, okay, let's make it really easy on the new players coming in. And let's turn up skill-based matchmaking for everybody else. And so be it. I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just so lost for words at this point in time. And I've invested so much into this franchise. To see it in the current state that it's in is depressing for me. To see it hijacked and infiltrated by these cheaters is so disappointing. Because Call of Duty doesn't need to be this way. But Activision allows it to be. They allow it to be because they couldn't care less about what they deliver their audience, about what they deliver their community, because they have no competition. They have no consequences for their actions. And until that changes, I, I don't think any of this will change. So yeah, cheaters are a ma major problem right now in Modern Warfare 3. Will they ever be fixed? Only time will tell. Maybe at some point Activision will wake up but I'm not holding my breath. That's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.